Hello everyone. I thought I'd have a quick look at Russia's Dragon's Teeth defences, shown here in Mariupol. They're big, pyramid-shaped, concrete, anti-tank defences. Well, Russia has shown how they work in this video, which I'm playing now, and it is different than I expected. I assumed these were basically just big, extremely heavy bollards, which were too big to drive over, too heavy to move, would be buried into the ground slightly, so a tank would just hit them and either stop or slow down as it pushes against them and eases overwards and gets trapped, that sort of thing. Instead, as shown in this video, these slide backwards the rearmost point of the dragon's tooth digging into the soil. This spins it upwards and wedges it under the tank so the tank gets stuck in place. Now, dragon's teeth aren't new, they've been around since World War II. But I believe, and I may be wrong, that these ones do differ from the World War II versions. The World War II versions were partially buried and didn't slide backwards and rotate under the tank, rather just lifting them off the ground so they were vulnerable. Now I see a big flaw with these. It's nearly winter. The ground is very soon going to be frozen solid. So if a tank drives up against them, aren't the dragon's teeth just going to slide out of the way rather than dig into the soil? Now looking at the way these seem to work, just placed on the ground to then dig in and rotate under the tank, it seems the best way to get rid of these would be to just use an armoured bulldozer or similar engineering vehicle to just push them aside. Would they be able to work against a bulldozer blade with any sort of gap to rotate under? I don't think so. I think a bulldozer will just push these aside pretty easily. Here's a satellite image from October showing their positioning in Luhansk. So Russia seemed to be having a double row of dragon's teeth followed by a gap in the centre, then a second double row of dragon's teeth and then the trenches. So I thought it worth taking a look at how these are typically positioned. Finally, I have a video here of a Ukrainian BMP just driving over them. Now granted, it didn't drive with the dragon's tooth hit in the middle, as demonstrated by Russia. Rather, it had its tracks go over them. But travelling at speed and getting the angle right so the tracks um, pass over them, the BMP pretty much just drove straight over them. And as we saw in the satellite image, there is a gap between each dragon's tooth. So these could feasibly be passed this way. Just drive partially within the gap with the tracks just clipping the dragon's tooth at a speed and travelling over the top. So with the frozen ground likely nullifying the dragon's teeth from digging in and rotating under the tank, the option of bulldozers just sliding them aside, or, as seen in the last video, going over them at speed, the dragon's teeth don't seem to be all that effective. So that's it for this video. I thought it worth taking a look as they're quite interesting. If you found the video interesting too, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.